up, what's up? Chris Ramsey here, welcome back. Today's video is just a bit of an update on things that are happening right now. A lot of things popping. Just wanted to keep you guys in the loop. First and foremost, I'm hosting a meetup, a local meetup, a meet and greet. My very first local meet and greet, so, meet and greet? My meet a creep, local meetup be happening in uh, in and around Montreal. It's actually half an hour north of Montreal at a place called The Night Vibe. And Night Vibe is a shop, it's like a skate shop, hip hop store, barber shop, it's where I go to get my beard trimmed all the time. Anyways, we're hosting a sort of meetup there. So if you're a magician or just like the channel and you wanna meet up with some other cool people that'll be there, you can check out the event details below. I left the link to my Facebook page where all the event details are happening. Uh, it'll be Sunday, July 23rd. We're gonna have food, we're gonna have jamming, be, we'll, we'll be filming videos, we'll do some Q&A, we'll do some whatever, we're just gonna hang out. So if you guys are interested and you're in the Montreal area, drop by there, link below, let's move on. Update number two, I'm currently speaking with Brian Brushwood from Scam School. If you're not familiar with Scam School, you haven't been on YouTube enough. Brian Brushwood hosts an amazing channel. He's actually got two channels, he's got The Modern Rogue now and Scam School. Scam School has been like a staple in like bar bets on YouTube ever since I can remember. I've been a big fan of Brian and his work in the magic industry as well. Brian and I have touched base and we're currently working on fixing a date to film a video and getting some ideas out there. So if you have any ideas for a video that Brian and I could do, please comment below, hit me up with some suggestions and uh, we'll try to get them done. Super stoked for this and I'll let you guys know as soon as that starts popping. Another update on the Pewds reacts to magic. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. I know, I know. Hello, talk. PewDiePie still follows me on Twitter. We've exchanged a brief message where I've exchanged a message this long. And I was like, yo, man, super stoked. Here are the ideas. This is what we can do. These are my open dates. He's like, cool, bro. Would love to hang. And then crickets. So not sure if it's gonna happen, but he still does follow me. So maybe we'll see, I don't know. Another update. I'm currently working with Rick Smith Jr. who is the world Guinness World Book of Records holder for card throwing. He's amazing card throw. Check out his channel, I'll leave the link below as well. He'll be on Dude Perfect, July 17th. Dude Perfect, one of the fastest growing YouTube channels today. They are huge, they do trick shots, they're amazing. And Rick Smith Jr. is gonna be on there and I'm so happy and I'm so proud of him. I think uh, if anybody with playing cards should be on do perfect it should be rick and i'm really really excited to see that episode apparently they got some crazy footage out of it be prepared for that because he's about to blow up also locking down some dates for magic live i'll be at magic live in vegas from august 13th to 17th inclusively before i do that i'm gonna land in san diego and hit up to uh probably art of play with dan and dave and film something with them so expect some cool content out of that trip Man, so many updates, so many things popping. Tonight, I'm also heading to my friend Spidey's house. Spidey, who's just released a brand new effect, his biggest contribution to mentalism ever. He just released it with, with Theory 11, so if you're interested in mentalism and, and peaking, it's it's an envelope, it's called the Kellyan envelope, named after him. It's an amazing, amazing thing. I'm super proud of my buddy, and uh, you guys can check it out, but I'm gonna be hanging out with Spidey, maybe I'll talk about it on uh, tomorrow's vlog. And one more thing, my playing card. So right now, they are testing out what I wanna do with my playing cards. The only thing stopping me from printing these right now and getting a prototype and putting it out there is this one test. And this one test is basically, uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna spoil the surprise. I can't spoil the surprise, I can't do it, I can't do it. But what I can tell you is the name of the playing cards. And the name that I chose for these playing cards, my very first personal deck of cards that belongs to me. First playing cards. And I am so, so excited about these. The design is already done and I would love to show it to you. I have pictures, I have mock-ups, I have artist renders, uh, but I can't show it to you now because if it doesn't happen, then it'll be a big disappointment. So I'm just waiting for USPC who are currently right now doing the test. USPC, if you see this video, get on it. They're about to tell me if this is gonna work or not. Fingers crossed, I think it is. And if it is, then I will be sure to share some artist renders with you guys, get a prototype done, start shooting the trailer, teasing photos, that type of thing. I'm highly, highly excited about this. It's the most exciting thing in my in my life right now is these playing cards. So uh, trust me, as soon as I get some information on this, I'll be definitely sharing it with you first. Also an update on my shop. I'm currently working with a graphic designer and putting together a Teespring shop where you can buy merch, t-shirts, hoodies, memes. The illusion went perfect. 
And uh, we're getting all that ready. Hopefully this or next week that'll be ready to launch. I'll drop that in another video and you'll be able to see that. So excited for that as well. So a lot of things popping right now, to be honest. I just had so many things in my head that I wanted to get this video out there so I can just kind of like externalize all my thoughts, get them out there and move on to some content. Also, last video that I put up with the uh, five playing card hacks got featured on break.com, which is pretty cool. So that's about it. Keeping it nice and short and sweet for y'all. Just wanted to let you know what was going on. Also, my gaming channel, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I'll be streaming probably later today. Some competitive Overwatch. We'll see. You guys want to see something I'm working on? Like a move wise? Maybe we'll do that. Here, check this out. That's uh, using the straddle pass control, but also using a TG Murphy deck flip and uh, kind of controls it to the top after you've controlled it to the bottom. And it's kind of cool. So I'm working on perfecting it because this is something I want to I want to be able to show people like when I'm performing and stuff as part of an ambitious routine. What are your thoughts on the ambitious card routine? Do you, how many stages do you guys do? You guys do two, three, five, ten. Do you use a sign card, an unsigned card. You use gimmicks. Do you just straight up do like one, two, then card to mouth and you're done. Let me know about your ambitious card routine. Also, let me know if you guys want to learn some ambitious card routines. I've I've got plenty that I go through uh, during performance. Maybe I'd love to share my thoughts if you guys want to see them. It's a work in progress now I usually usually people don't show like how much they practice on video because it's not that interesting to anybody but I thought it would be interesting for you guys to see a little bit of how many times I get it wrong before I get it right and even when I got it right it was kind of sketchy so don't don't be discouraged by practicing everybody messes up everybody drops cards I have cards all over the ground right now for practicing when I'm practicing something like this I practice in front of a camera. Most of the times I'm not recording, sometimes I am, but I'm not gonna use the footage. But the only reason I'm doing that is because I can see myself. I can see where the mistakes are happening, I can see where the flashes are, I can maybe see what I'm doing wrong or what I'm doing right, and I can analyze myself much better than I could with a mirror. Always remember that when practicing as well, when you're doing like, when you're practicing a new slight or a new move, Keep in mind the progress. Don't just blindly do the same thing over and over expecting different results. Keep the progress in mind and try to tweak what you're doing a little bit to cater to whatever you need to. So if you did something right, try to remember what it is you did right. Go back to the video and look at it. If you did something wrong, don't do it again. There's a lot to be said on conscious practicing versus just fiddling with cards as a fidget tool. When, when doing anything, when practicing any type of thing, conscious practice is worth 20 times more than just fiddling with cards and doing the same things that you're already used to doing. Step out of your comfort zone, try something new, drop the cards, hell with it, drop them all over and over again, pick them up. If you get frustrated, move on to something else, come back to it later. A lot of times I'll notice that after I've practiced something for like an hour straight, if I drop it for like a day and come back to it, I'll be better at it. Because it's almost like my mind's been practicing the move without the cards. And then it sort of coalesces, comes together with my physical abilities, and then all of a sudden I'm able to do it better. So that's happened with a lot of slights and flourishes that I've practiced. I don't know if you've experienced the same thing in your situations, but that's something that helped me out. So again, don't be discouraged if you drop the cards. Everybody drops cards, but that's how you end up getting better. So anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Again, this is just an update video to keep you guys in the loop about things that are going on because I dropped some 
some knowledge on like my Twitter and Instagram and everything, but I find YouTube to be like the one space where I can, where I can concisely put my ideas together, bundle them up and so thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subbed, like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace, rock.